With Xavi in charge, the Barcelona dressing room was like an open invitation where anyone could join in and steal the limelight. But now, with the arrival of Hansi Flick, everything will be different. Gone are the days of small talk and distractions. Flick is here to clear up the chaos and turn the Barcelona dressing room into a temple of concentration and determination. Under Flick's guidance, Barcelona will attempt to usher in a new era of glory. And it all starts with the smallest details. Flick's meticulous nature ensures that every aspect is fine-tuned for success. Although some may see Flick as an outsider, unfamiliar with Barcelona's traditions, it is precisely this new perspective that promises a cultural revolution in the team. After Xavi's troubled period without titles, Hansi Flick brings a new approach and discipline. The game is about to change, and Flick is leading the charge. According to Radio Catalunya, Hansi Flick arrives with a clear vision for the team, and that includes setting some important boundaries in the dressing room. Flick sees the dressing room as a sacred place, intended only for the coach, staff, and players. This is a change from the previous regime under Xavi Hernandez, who was sometimes criticized for taking a more relaxed approach to changing room access. Flick wants to make the locker room more private and concentrated, which allows the team to focus and strategize for matches. Only President Joan Laporta and Sporting Director Deco will have access. Flick is working with Deco to plan for the future and the next season. This shows Flick's intention to create a professional and team-focused environment. Is it a good idea to make changes to Barcelona's DNA? Although Hansi Flick had a poor spell with the German national team, his numbers with Bayern Munich show what a tactical genius he has become. Now it's Barcelona's turn to overcome their failures and get back to dreaming of titles, especially the Champions League. Barcelona could undergo a systematic overhaul. According to Sport, the future of Barcelona's planning could be shaped by the system that Flick implements. Hansi Flick's preferred system is the 4-2-3-1 with a double pivot in the middle of the park. It's the structure he used both at Bayern Munich and with the German national team. As such, it can't be ruled out that at Barca, he might opt for this formula with a focus on defensive solidity and attacking threat. Switching to this formation would be something new for Barca as they have always adhered to the 4-3-3. As part of the double pivot, Flick will have a number of players to choose from, such as Pedri, Gavi, Frankie de Jong, and Ilkay Gundogan, all of whom are suited to playing with a defensively robust midfielder. Their teams have been characterized by being very proactive in terms of intensity, pressing and playing more vertically than horizontally. Pedri and Fermin Lopez would be options for the number 10 position, while Pablo Torre, returning from loan, could also get a look in in the new setup. Instead of the square of the previous midfield, Flick prefers an inverted triangle formation with two pivots and a star man. Pedri will play a key role as a creative player, positioned just behind the striker. Gavi, on the other hand, embodies the type of midfielder Flick would value possessing a mixture of technical mastery and physical relentlessness. This formation also benefits Barcelona's attack, Robert Lewandowski, whose frustrations under Xavi's system have been well documented. Barcelona's tiki-taka style of play, which prioritizes possession and complex passing, is set to change under Flick. He will introduce a more direct attacking approach without abandoning possession altogether. Quick transitions from defense to attack are a key feature. This shift towards objectivity will help Barca to cope with high pressing teams by bypassing the pressure. They exploited the space behind the defense with quicker passes and balls over the top. This aligns with Lewandowski's strengths and involves wingers like Yamal and Rafinha in dangerous attacking situations. This system allows the goalkeeper, defenders, and midfielders to get forward, limiting space and forcing mistakes, which were immediately attacked with speed when he was at Bayern. 
The pressure signals are very clear and there is little hesitation in the maneuver. Every player has the responsibility of defending up front. Playing with a high defensive line has been a feature of our game because by doing so, we don't give the opposition any space, said Flick ahead of the 2019-20 UEFA Champions League final. Barcelona witnessed firsthand the pressure of Flick's teams during the unfortunate 2-8 defeat in 2020 against Bayern Munich. In the quarterfinal against Barcelona, Bayern managed 48 turnovers, and the average height of those turnovers was 42.2 meters. On the other hand, Hansi Flick can continue to follow Barca's tradition and philosophy by sticking to the 4-3-3 formation. To succeed, the club needs to bring in a top defensive midfielder, which is their main objective ahead of the summer transfer window. Guido Rodriguez is set to arrive, and the likes of Joshua Kimmich and Martin Zubamendi are also being targeted. Hansi Flick intends to simplify concepts and give players more freedom, similar to Carlo Ancelotti's approach at Real Madrid and different to the way Xavi worked. Flick also emphasizes the importance of physical work and wants his players to be fully fit for effective pressing. Meanwhile, one of Flick's biggest challenges will be managing the playing time of so many midfielders, including Pedri, Fermin Lopez, Gundogan, Frankie de Jong, Gavi, and possibly Kimmich, should he join Barcelona. In addition, Flick is known for his direct and empathetic communication style with the team, taking inspiration from Ancelotti and Joachim Löw. According to sports' Tony Juan Marti, Hansi Flick is taking a detailed and calculated approach to managing his players. Flick postponed his official presentation in order to get to know his players better. Over the next few weeks, the coach will get to know his players' abilities and characteristics. Flick plans to introduce himself and implement his style of soccer after getting to know his players' strengths and areas for improvement. Communication and mutual respect are important to him. Now hit the like button and comment below on Hansi Flick's plans with Barcelona.